If the emergency spending bill is supposed to provide money to help our troops, why does Congress keep adding in other stuff? I'm Molly Stark, and this is Heritage in Focus. President Bush proposed $103 billion in emergency funding for our troops serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yet Congress larded up this national security bill with $21 billion in additional spending that's mostly on pork. This makes a mockery out of the budget caps that Congress just bragged about holding to a month ago. Worse, this bill uses our troops as collateral. Congress is telling the president he cannot fund body armor for our troops serving in the Middle East unless they get $16 million for extra office space in Congress first. This bill includes a $4 billion nationwide bailout for farmers. But that's not all. There's $74 million for peanut storage, $25 million for spinach growers, there's money for citrus growers, livestock farmers, milk subsidies, but it's not all just agriculture either. This bill includes millions of dollars for the shrimping industry, fisheries, NASA, breeding live fish, and office space in the House of Representatives. Is it any wonder that 80% of Americans disapprove of how Congress is performing on spending? This bill gets in the way of funding our troops and delays our troops from getting the body armor and supplies they need. In the interest of our troops, Congress should strip this funding from the bill, and if they don't, President Bush should veto the bill and put an end to Congress's nonsense on spending. Congress now has a chance to show real leadership. They can fund the troops while resisting the temptation to spend billions on unrelated pork. I'm Molly Stark, and this is Heritage in Focus.